Hello friends, so today in this video we can discuss the second problem from the latest educational code for around 110 problem name array reordering. So the problem is very simple, it just states that you are given an array A consisting of n integers and you have to find out the number of pairs ij such that if you take the gcd of ai and two times of aj then they should be greater than equal to 1 like they should be greater than 1 okay then so it, if you just take two indices i and j and i j is greater than i just take two indices which are not same okay now if you take out these indices the gcd of a of i and two times a of j should be greater than 1 if this is a valid pair then the answer is like it's a good pair you just have to maximize the number of good pairs by reordering the array in any arbitrary way you want okay now first it might seem like okay you have to find out some trick but after seeing the constraint it actually what you can see is the total n over all the test case do not exceed like 2000 so it means that i can do this problem in o of n square also okay so that's a one important constraint uh, like like you can get from the quotient part. So always try to see the constraints as well. Now, okay, I can do this in O of n square, but do I have to sort this whole area out? So what I can observe here is, so as you can see, AI and two times of AJ, okay? So it means that I am making the second number even, okay? If the first number is also even, if the first number is also even, I do not care about the second number. The second number is even or odd. The second number will eventually will become even and thus the GCD will be greater than 1. I hope you get the point. So I will also repeat again. So, so the GCD, I am just taking out the GCD of AI and 2 times of AJ. 2 times of AJ means that whatever is AJ, when I multiply 2 in that, it will become even. So this is an even number. And if I take AI such that it is an even number, then this will eventually will become the GCD of this will be greater than 2 or greater than or equal to 2 and thus this will fulfill our condition. So if I can take all the even numbers, like all the even numbers, I can pair it, pair it with all the other numbers. I hope you get the point. So as you can see also, they're taking the even numbers before and then they're taking the odd numbers. And that's the trick because see, in the odd numbers, because for the even numbers, putting even number before is having a benefit because every even number can be paired with the odd numbers after that. So this even number can be paired with all the numbers after that. This can be paired with all the numbers after that. Why? Because if all the numbers, all the odd numbers are in the end, I can, every even number can be paired with any number because, because as you can see, this is an even number. So if this is an even number, any number which is after that can be even or odd, but it doesn't matter because it will become even. I hope you get the point because so it is beneficial to put all the events first and then the odd first. So that's what we have like you can confirm it with the example also and that's the whole logic part. So you can first take the array and like somewhat sort it out. First find out the even and the odd numbers and then just make a new array. First put the even and the odd. So you can do this in any manner. Just I just filter out the even and the odd numbers and just like again put them into a same array. And then because you can do this in O of n square also so just iterate over the whole the o of nested for loops and then iterate over like in the given manner and just check that whether the gcd of a of i and two times a of j is greater than or equal to one like greater than one the answer is increment the total and just print that total. i hope you understand the logic in the code part for this problem if you have any doubts you can mention on ask and like i can see you next one till like keep coding and bye